Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a digital banking web application which is made using Google Web App Script and Google Sheet as a database. This web application have too much functionalities. I will show you all the things step by step. First of all, you will see here I am logged in as this user and this user role is administrator and he can have a multiple admin controls. But on the other hand, here I am logging as this user and this user role is a customer and it's only have the functionalities related to banking uh, banking uh, issues. OK, like uh, just like the transfer funds, the transaction histories, deposit funds and profile and setting. That's all. But in the admin side, we have a multiple functionalities of manage wallets, manage requests, manage account and profile settings and many more. So I will explain you all the things step by step. This web application, this banking web application uh, have support multiple currency features. OK, have support multi multiple currency functionalities. You can see here the PKR currency, the USD currency, the INR currency, the euro currency. But this user only have two currencies. OK, this user can trade in only in these two currencies what we need to do if we need to give if we need to activate a uh, indian currency for this user okay we just go to our admin side go to our manage wallets and uh, what is this user this user name is this i just copy this and go here and click on this add new wallet and paste their user email here and uh, then currency sy uh, symbol and the balance is zero and click on this save so it will show a pop-up are you wanna sure to save wallet yes save wallet so a new wallet added successfully so now when we go to the user now you can able to see this user now have a currency of indian rupees which is spotted okay how you can uh now now one thing you can see uh, i have uh just copy this i just copy this username Okay, I just copy this username. Now you can see here this user have INR currency, PKR currency, and the USD currency. Okay, it's not have INR balance. And now uh, the admin have the INR currency and have a balance of 416 and something. Okay, I just need to go to the transfer funds. I just select my wallet from which wallet I want to transfer the money. I just select. Okay, now I enter the email of the sender of the receiver means ke which person i want to send money to that person i need to enter their username means their email here and after enter the email that particular users now you can see here this user this user have three wallets the usd wallet the pkr wallet and the inr wallet okay i just uh, select uh, i just select the inr wallet and select the I inr okay i just select the inr here and transfer the money and click on this transfer now so when i click on this transfer now you can see here the transaction receipt is here okay the 50 inr i have sent it successfully now you can see here this person uh, inr balance is 50 remaining all is unaffected okay that's perfect okay that's perfect now one more thing i want to show you auto conversion of currencies yes you can see here i just uh, here's i i don't have the usdt balance okay i have don't have the usdt balance in this system you can see here usd balance is zero and that particular users i request him to send me some usdt okay so it just send me i just enter my username now you can see here this user have multiple fun uh, multiple wallets i just select the usd because i want to transfer the usd to usdt okay i just send the 100 usd and click on this transfer now so when i click on this transfer now so now you can able to see the transaction receipt is successfully generated and our usd balance is successfully received on the main time you are receiving you are receiving the email notifications as well now you can see here when you log in you see the login email and when your transaction received you received and your new balance is this okay now the major thing is this uh, right now you can able to see this user have a dashboard 
PKR balance is zero. Okay, PKR balance is zero. And here we have a PKR balance is zero. We just go to here and uh, go to our manage wallets. And uh, this is a PKR. We just uh, make its balance zero to understand you well what the feature, what the functionality we have. Okay, the wallet is updated. And now you can able to see in a few seconds your in in two seconds your data will be refreshed now you can see here pkr balance is zero okay now i request him that he's uh, that you need to send me the 10 uh you, you need to send me the 10 usdt in my pkr balance okay how we can send we just select the usdt because you can see here i need to send to this user in pkr wallet but in my PKR wallet, I don't have a balance. In my PKR wallet, I don't have balance. But I need to send this user in PKR wallet. So how can I transfer? Just go to transfer. Select the USDT where you have a balance. Okay. Just enter your uh, receiver email here, recipient's email here. Now you need to send in the e uh, in the PKR balance. Okay. I need to send the ten USDT because I am going to transfer. This 10 USDT, 10 USDT. Click on this transfer now. So when I click on this transfer now, now you can able to see it will process and the transaction received is here. I just close this and now you can able to see in the dashboard portal. In the dashboard portal, my balance is auto updated and in this side, I have received 28 57 pkr rupees because the conversion we made from usdt to pkr automatically how we can do this how we can do this you just you just go to the currency and right now for example what are the currencies i don't know i just create a dummy currency okay i just create a dummy currency right now uh go to the google and uh, currency names okay i currency name you can see here this is a this is a gpg okay uh what's its uh signs jpd okay i just copy this and go to here and paste it here okay now what we need to do we need to convert one usdt to gpg okay one usd to gpg it's 0 0.77 we just copy this and now we go to our sheets and paste it here now all set okay now all set okay and now what we need to do we go to manage wallets and click on this add new wallet and enter our user email and now we need to enter our currency the jpg and balance is zero and click on this save yes wallet is saved we need to wallet okay the jpg wallet is add for this particular user okay now you can see here the jpg wallet is added and you can see the sign okay we need to transfer here okay we need to transfer here we go to our dashboard see we have a 100 usdt we just uh, select here and uh, select the 100 usdt enter the receiver's email and in there jpg okay jpg and i need to send the 50 usdt and click on this transfer now so when i click on this transfer now so now you can able to see the transaction receipt is here and now you can see the balance of jpg is 50 usdt 50 usdt i send and it will convert to jpg automatically so in this way you can add your own conversion rates okay all the transactions you have performed you can see here the recent transactions the uh, you to send at this okay this sent to you okay minus 10 usdt you send in pkr its conversion okay minus 100 usdt and same thing you can also go to transaction history and right now you can able to see load my transaction transactions history you can see all the transactions here okay what you need to do for add the funds okay okay that's the that's the thing you just enter your username uh, your account email id and which what you need you have deposit usdt okay you have transfer online okay how much 5600 okay uh enter your number okay transaction medium binance transaction id is this bank is this account number is this and click on this request deposit okay now go to the admin and admin section in the manage request now you can able to see this user have sent 5600 okay so it will check that this particular amount is received or not is it received it's just select it's a receive okay one thing one thing one thing you need to go to our wallet section to the live section uh extra internet you can see the uh it's a usdt you will see effect here 
okay it's transaction the transaction is received i just click on this yes after click on the yes you can see here the transaction is received and now my balance is successfully updated from 1400 1400 to 7000 okay go to here and click on this dashboard now you can able to see the 7000 usdt available in your balance so in that system you can add the transactions you can add the deposit funds okay in profile and setting system in profile okay in profile system you can change your current pass you can enter your current password and enter your new password and easily you can change your passwords from here okay so this is a sport and a uh, sport and fact this same for the all go to your google sheet and go to your fork section how to deposit okay uh how to deposit how you want to deposit just go to your uh, deposit and funds and fill the form uh, okay just go to deposit uh, whatever you want to enter you can enter here okay one thing i want to show you how much points you want to add you can add simply the points here easily it will add here definitely it's uh, this concept from our previous video okay uh, now go to our this how to deposit and i just need to click refresh my web application when i refresh my web application go to uh, my this username and click on this login so when i click on this login so now you can able to see in the sport and fracture all the points will be added here okay so how to deposit you can add these steps easily and you can make your sport and fact system effectively okay now in the manage account sections in the manage account sections admin can create new accounts okay admin can create new accounts but on the other hand if a user is a new and if a user want to create a banking system okay he just click on the sign up and uh, enter the email and enter the uh, name uh remis imdad and uh, enter the password okay i just copy this username and paste it here and what's the deposit limit he want and click on this sign up so when he click on this sign up i i uh, manage uh, i man i do the uh, uh as my own because i want to show you this user name is already exists because this is our admin my english is not well i just hesitate okay so you can see here this user is a admin if i change this user to one okay make a difference in my email id in my username and now click on this sign up now you can able to see the sign up is going to be successfully account created successfully okay accounts are created successfully understand just uh, copy it here and uh, uh, paste it here and copy the password and click on this uh, login okay so now you can able to see i am successfully login so by default each user by default each user have a usdt wallet okay whenever a person have whenever a person creates account by default usdt wallet is created okay so this is actually like how our pioneer works and this is a okay now you uh, the manage request you can also make it unreceived and click on this yes so these are the emails will be send it to the persons and this is a setting you can change your banking web application name for example you can change uh muhammad uh, ramis uh, imdad okay you can change your muhammad ramis imdad and you can change your default currency from usdt to another currency and whenever you refresh your web application and uh, you can see here when you refresh your web application your this is changed to muhammad ramis imdad and now when you log into your banking web application your data will be here automatically change the Muhammad Ramiz Imdad and here's the automatically change so this is our banking web application and uh, you can make it easily and effectively hope so you like this video you like this concept uh, here's a button uh, I think its name is subscribed and uh, I think you all uh, are not uh, familiar with this so i just say that you will be familiar with this just click on this subscribe and click on this bell icon so we are going to make the beautiful and interesting web app projects for you take care thank you very much